Hello, Emma Blue Eyes here, and since I'm here, you know what's going to happen. A new deck review. Um, uh, my deck hasn't, well, it's changed a little bit significantly since I was last, since, since my last review. And um, again, uh, I did go to St. Austell, and uh, I went against Vinnie the shop owner, and he was um, suggesting some ideas for the deck and how to make uh, the deck better and things like that again. And he was telling me what copies of what copies I should have, what copies I shouldn't have, and um, I've tried applying them to the deck, but uh, I've kept some of some of the cards in my deck that he tried to take out, uh, mainly for the fact that well, they been a, it took me a while to get them, and it wasn't fair if I took them out and things like that. So yeah, and um, and also uh, while while I was there, um, I noticed. Uh, I noticed several uh, uh, specific uh, aspects of the, the dueling decks, like uh, the speed of getting the specific cards to your hand via the draw power. Um, I mean, my deck is pretty fast, and I've only got like Morphin Jar as the draw power, but I have got a lot of other cards that do speed it up and, uh, <laughs> and things like that. Um, the best part of being in St. Austell was uh, I won against uh, Vinny's Hopeless Dragon deck. Um, and he came in, um, in the eleventh place at the UK National Championship, so I was quite proud. It was only one win, though. The rest of the time, I lost. <laughs> um, what had happened was he had got his red eyes metal dragon on the field, and I was, and he had about less than a thousand life points, and I had about less than a thousand life points. And uh, by pure chance, I managed to draw brain control, so I took control of his red eyes metal dragon and brought back my ultimate dragon from the graveyard. And yeah, it wiped him out, so I was really happy about that, but as I said, I lost the other duels. Guess I was just tired, because that duel was really exciting. <laughs> Anyways, we better get back onto the deck. So, Blue Eyes White Dragon deck update, and we better start then. So, here we go. Polymerization. Brain Control. Mystical Space Typhoon. Mass Dragon, Enemy Controller, Kyberman, Book of Moon, Dragon's Mirror. Now I'm normally not too keen on using Remove from Play cards because I feel I feel horrible that I have to do that. It's horrible if I do that, but um, in a situation where I need to get Ultimate Dragon on the field quickly, quickly, uh, Dragon's Mirror is actually a very good very good choice. Um and Vinny and that suggested some cards a few cards that I could add to the deck if I had any more removal move from play cards, like the different dimension reincarnation, which could bring one of my dragons back from the graveyard, or if I add any more removal remove from play cards, um then I could add a return from the different dimension uh, when when it came down to that. Of course my blue eyes white dragon. My ultimate monster, blue eyes shining dragon. <laughs> Monster Reborn, Swords of Avian Light, Lightning Vortex, Morphing Jar, Snipe Hunter. Snipe Hunter was a card I got recently in a booster pack, um, and at first I didn't think of it, think much of it, but uh, I saw how I was watching some Tag Force uh, U Bell duels uh, on YouTube, and she uses this to a great efficiency, and I thought. That could actually be very useful for one for protecting my dragons if needed, or two, just generally clearing the the opponent's field if I want to get a more direct attack shot. Heavy storm. Ancient rules. I did have two of these, but I decided to take one out to make room for um, some other cards because even though it's a great card, it summons my blue eyes straight from my hand to the field. It actually does clog up the hand if you don't get a blue eyes into your hand. Blue Eyes White Dragon, Regiki Break, White Stone of Legend, U Bell. Again, Vinny tried to tell me to take her out, and I said no. She's staying in the deck. Because, as I said in my last deck review, her tribute ability would be very useful if I wanted to get dragons into the graveyard. or so. And also, with her out in the field, it actually stops the opponent from attacking because of her effect. Mirage Dragon. Infernal Dragon. I actually got this as trade. Um, I, I traded this, uh, and I was very happy to get it because I've always wanted this card. Um, and my boyfriend had it. I 
something, but I never managed to get it. But I'm very happy that I've got it now. Um, uh, it, it may not be a good card because of its secondary destructive effect, but it, because of its high attack power, it actually might help in slowing the opponent down and stopping them from attacking me. Solemn Judgment. Again, another trade. Uh, ultimate counter card. Um, definitely recommended for nearly every deck, but you have to be careful of um, some of the synchro monsters that do burn damage, because some of them, like, I think it's Dark Colossal Fighter is one, because if you use this and then someone brings out a Dark Colossal Fighter, you'd be in trouble. Mass Dragon. Refusion. Some people would think this is a bit of an odd choice, but you'll see why. Another White Stone of Legend. Scapegoat. Debris Dragon. Vinny actually took Debris Dragon out because he, he said it would be a bit of a clog up, but Debris Dragon is actually very useful because it's actually one of the easiest, easiest ways to bring up my Synchro Monsters. Um, especially my level 7 synchro monsters. Hi, back again. Sorry about that. Um, my dad called me up for dinner, so, yeah, so, a dinner of haggis. Mm. Right, better get back onto the deck review. So, where was I? Ah, yes, I finished off with Debris Dragon. Yeah, as I said, um, Vinny tried to take it out, but I find it's actually easy easier to get my synchro monsters out with this dragon on the field and plus it's got a good defense so it's easy and it's easily searched by mass dragon and it's got its effect of uh, bringing back a monster with 500 attack or less but even though it negates its effects you know if i need a tribute fodder if you like um then this little dragon has, has the ability to do that king of the swamp first stream of destruction mirror force Pot of Avery's. Um, Vinny was actually the one who suggested I put this in because one, because my deck can thin out really easily, um, and I have room for it. Uh, I could put put it in, and also it gives me draw power by allowing me to draw two cards. I actually nearly won another duel against Vinny because of this card, but unfortunately my draw wasn't successful. Unfortunately, so I lost that duel. Last White Stone of Legend. Mirage Dragon. Magic Cylinder. Last Mass Dragon, my third Blue Eyes White Dragon, Winged Karibu. Um, I decided to put Winged Karibu in because um, there was a couple of times in the duel where I had nothing to protect me, no matter what. And for example, with against the Hopeless Dragon, which is a swarm deck, um, and Winged Karibu, well, when it's destroyed, any 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 way, um, its effect activated and it stops you from losing battle damage. And plus, it's uh, Character card of um of Jaden Yuki and he's one of my favorite characters. So and Treeborn Frog, uh again he's mainly to do with the Ubel strategy and tribute fodder for the Blue Eyes or any other cards that need tributes and things like that. So that's the main deck. Now for the extra deck, Stardust Dragon, <laughs> Black Rose Dragon. And the third synchro, third and last synchro monster I'm hoping to get, as I said before, is Ancient Fairy Dragon, but she's not due out until, I think her tin's out in the 18th of August, I think, so, yeah. Of course, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. And I've got one more card. A second Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Yay! This one's the Retro Pack one. Um, somebody was trading cards, and they had this Ultimate Dragon in it, and I thought... Ooh, I better get that. Because one, I felt a bit sad for it, sorry for it, because it was in a trading card, and I don't like to see, I don't, in honest truth, I don't like seeing Blue Eyes White Dragons, or any type of Blue Eyes Dragons in trading cards, because to me, it's just a sign that the duelist just doesn't really care for them, or anything like that. No, that sounds a bit mean saying that, but that's that's just the way I feel, unfortunately. So I was able to trade for him, and I'm really happy that I did. And I'm actually thinking about, um, thinking about getting a third one, but... I'm not sure when, I'm not sure when, so, um, because I've literally got no money at the moment because I'm a poor college student, so. So there we are, um, that's the, that's the deck review, and, uh, there should be another one again in a month's time, and, uh, I'm hopefully, hopefully, I could go back to St. Austell again at the end of August if I can find a bloody job <laughs> in Truro, um, and, uh, well, that's it really, 
So uh, I'll see you around and take care and I'll see you again at the next deck review. So take care. Bye.